Um, to be perfect with you, I was in an absolute world of pain. Uh... Alright, so the question is, how do we take Ricky, who's had back pain for 16 years and has a history of disc prolapses in his lower back, to being pain free, playing golf and weightlifting? Now the key is that we need to drive an adaptation. At the moment, Ricky's back is not adapted to bending forward, picking things up. It's definitely not adapted to playing golf. So what do we do? First of all, we start with mobilizing his lower back. And when we do this, we're basically starting to change the structure of the ligaments and the tendons and the muscles in his lower back, but also we're starting to provide his nervous system and his brain and his spinal cord, for example, with information to say that it's okay to do this. You do not need to create a pain response. This is how we can actually get people pain-free very quickly and we can let the structures recover in the background whilst they're facilitating a healthy lifestyle. First stage, we start off with novel movements. So what we're gonna do first off is get Ricky to take a seat and we'll get him to slump and stretch the sciatic nerve. Now what we're doing is we're starting to lengthen the sciatic nerve and starting to basically tell Ricky's nervous system that it's okay to stretch, it's okay to load this area. You don't have to create a huge pain response. We do the same thing for the lower back with novel movements. So from here, get into a normal position and we just get Ricky to Flex, extend, flex, extend the lower back. Do the same thing in rotation and side bending to basically get Ricky's nervous system comfortable with going through those ranges of motion. Now every single clinic that we have has a gym attached to it. It's very important because now we need to educate Ricky's back to handle load without creating a pain response. That will enable him to be functional. So follow me into the gym. So the benefit of having a gym attached to the clinics is it enables us to start to alone the structures which were previously injured to strengthen, to make them more robust, so Ricky can go on to doing what he wants to do outside of the treatment room. So the first thing that we need to do is a very simple movement, which is a hip hinge. This is basically starting the motion, or starting to get Ricky very good at bending down to pick things up, and there's two ways that we can do this. We take a very light weight, it's like 10 kilos, and then from here, we start off with a hip fold. So from here, we very gradually get used to bending forward. And the weight just helps to pull us back and structurally enable us to help him to bend forward without creating pain. That, we can then progress, progress into a squat, which from here, we start off with the hip, hip hinge. We sit down and we stand up with a nice braced core. Sit down, stand up with a nice braced core. Next, once Ricky's become comfortable with that, come a little bit further forward, we can then start to load those movements a little bit more with, for example, the deadlift. And the reason why this is important is it gets Ricky very good at lengthening the sciatic nerve, which goes down the back of the leg into the foot. And as well as that, getting him used to compressing the discs in his lower back and stabilizing his core, which is a very natural thing to do. The last thing we want to do is tie this all together with some rotational movements. Let's get him comfortable a little bit closer. So if we imagine a golf swing, golf swing here, we're going to start to load the core into rotation. And we add load to enable him to do this and condition his body to do so. So from here, hands to here, rotating out into this position to replicate the golf swing. Really simple exercises scaled up in a way that enables his body to adapt to what he wants to do long term, and that's what we specialise in. Obviously we use manipulation and massage along the way, but this is the structure that we go through every single one of our patients, whether you just want to pick up your kids pain free, whether you just want to be able to sit down pain free, whether you want to be able to be problem pain free, it's the same thing. We structurally, in a scaled way, start to introduce stress into your rehab plan that you can manage and that you can adapt to, and that's how you stay pain free long term. Now if you've got any questions at all, all you need to do is hit the link that is below. It's been yeah, the whole entire time that I've been talking, hit the link below, ask us some questions, or book in for a free consultation, and we'll be happy to take you through how we can take you from being in pain to pain free, living your most enjoyable life possible. Thanks for watching. And what can you do now? Everything. <laughs> yeah. Like what? What's the. If you were to say two or three things at the. Um, I get in the van in the mornings without being in pain. I can work all day um, not being in pain. Um, like the range of movement where I can put my hands on the floor again now, so you know, if you can see. Let's have a look. That's pretty flexible. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, I was about here when I first came, I've only come to about there, so yeah, it's, it's been amazing. Um, I suggest anyone that could come to come to see it and his gang. So. 
And if do you, do you think that there was anything in particular here that worked well for you? Um, yeah, I think it was the rapport between yourself and, and me. Um, you know, the exercises were fantastic, and the steady progression. It wasn't rushed. It was comfortable, um, nice environment. So it's been absolutely fantastic.